All right, let's talk about TCP and UDP. By far, the most commonly used is TCP. That's the Transmission Control Protocol, and it governs connection-oriented sessions. It guarantees transmission of data from one point to another, and it makes sure that the IP packets from a message get to their destination. You know, basically, you have a message that's created at one computer, and that computer wants to send the message to another computer. It could be an email or it could be anything. That message is going to be broken down into IP packets. And what it means to use TCP is that every packet is checked for delivery. If the receiving computer doesn't receive any one of those packets, then it won't be able to assemble the original message. And it'll ask the sending computer to transmit the packet again. So, you know, the original computer that's sending the message, it breaks it down into a bunch of IP packets and puts IDs on each of the packets and sends them out. The receiving computer grabs them all and resequences them according to the ID and makes sure that no numbers are missing, no packets are missing. So no one packet is left behind because of TCP. And it's because these two protocols are so commonly used that we call the entire protocol suite TCP IP. You know, you have your computers that get IP addresses and they use those IP addresses to create sessions between each other and they send IP packets to each other. But TCP runs on top of that and that governs the entire session. That makes sure that all those IP packets get there. So you have IP TCP running on top of that, and then you have the actual protocols that you use within your applications. Examples of those protocols include HTTP for web browsing, FTP for file transfer, and POP3. And let's show an example of that now. If we go to my website here, uh, you'll find that there's a lot of a videos on my site in addition to these videos. And if we click on these sites, and uh, click on particular pages, that's going to create a connection. And we can see that connection in the command prompt if we'd use the netstat command. And I'll do that with the dash n parameter, which means numeric, and this will show all the information via IP address. And here's the local computer. That's my computer I'm sitting at, dot 100. And here's, by the way, the port that I'm using to go outbound to connect. And here's all the servers that I have connections to right now and their IP addresses. And so, for example, here's 216.97.236.245. That's my web server. And you see colon 80. That's HTTP. So this is the session from my computer to the server. And it's a TCP session. It's a guaranteed session. It's going to make sure that all packets get to where they have to go so that the web page looks right, so you're not missing anything. And, uh, you know, to find out about the server, you know, we could do an NS lookup and say to the server name, which is davidlprouse.com, press enter, and you see the IP address is 216.97.236.245, and there it is. So that's the connection from the local computer to the remote, using port 80, HTTP, make sure you know your ports. That is a TCP connection. IP packets are uh, sent, they're guaranteed through delivery by TCP. And so TCP is riding on top of IP. It basically encapsulates all the IP packets. And on top of that, you have the HTTP protocol. So HTTP relies on TCP, and TCP and IP rely on each other. So the whole TCP IP suite, you kind of start to see how it works. So that's, uh, that's the TCP. Now you also have UDP, that's user datagram protocol. And the user datagram protocol or UDP sessions are known as connectionless sessions. These are non-guaranteed sessions when you don't need every packet to be uh, accepted by the receiving computer. You can miss some packets. And so UDP is non-guaranteed, used by BitTorrents. If you ever download a BitTorrent, 
Uh, that means you're downloading a file using multiple ports at the same time. It might be also be used by tunneling protocols uh, and also by some streaming media for video and music. You know, if you miss a packet during a video or a particular song, it's just going to be a blip and that's gone. You know, you're, you're already watching or listening to something else. So it's okay to lose some packets in those cases. Uh, the same with the bit torrents and the tunneling protocols. So in these cases, if a packet is dropped, it is not asked for again. So you might have some missing packets, but you don't really care that you lost those in UDP. But again, TCP much more common. And so know both. If you go to the command prompt, you can see both connections by doing a netstat dash a n if you want to see it numerically just dash a if you want to see the names but dash a n for numerically and you'll get all your tcp connections like we showed before but then also udp connections which go out to other systems in this case uh, we don't really have any it's just those it shows star colon star so we don't have any connections right now but uh, you have both connections there if you use the netstat dash a n command now you can find more information about any of these protocols like uh, HTTP that uses port 80. Uh, you can find out about the port and the protocol using the IANA service name and transport protocol port number registry. And that's at the IANA.org. And you can just do a quick Google search or whatever search engine you're using and just say port listing and it'll probably come up or IANA port listing. And this shows all the ports and their numbers. It, it organizes them by number. You can also search if you wanted to. And so if we go down here and go to the second page, we can look at port 80 and you see HTTP port 80. By default, it uses TCP, but it can also use UDP. So you should know that for the exam that it can use both, but generally it's a TCP connection as we showed in the command prompt. And if we go back one, we can also show 21 is FTP. And so that generally uses TCP as well, but again, can also use UDP. So you can look up any of these. You can do it by uh, port number or better off doing it by the service name or by the protocol name. So for example, if I typed in HTTP, the search will bring up all the information about that. So make sure you use the IANA uh, port number registry. That's really going to help you out. And so that's the end of this sub lesson. Make sure you know the difference between TCP and UDP.